Illinois, Matthew Malcolm with California Ag Network and in our state we have some of the most strict pesticide uh, regulations in the entire world. That makes it really hard for us to have all the necessary tools we need uh, for, for you know, pesticides, fungicides, herbicides. And on top of that, uh, we're also dealing with some resistance issues to some of these crop protection tools that we have been accustomed to being able to have for the last you know, so many years. But I met with Walt Mahaffey from the USDA ARS plant pathologist to talk about the difference between uh, this resistance buildup that is happening in some diseases, crops, uh, and weeds versus poor coverage for sprayer calibration or whatnot. So here's Walt to explain. What may look like fungicide resistance but really isn't is dealing with sprayer coverage. And sprayer coverage is a multifaceted problem And that first it's how much liquid is actually coming out the tank how fast you are delivering that, so how fast you're driving. Because if you're driving too fast, you're just gonna cause the um, leaves to shingle up and you're not gonna penetrate the canopy. You really need to drive at a speed that gets a good turbulent mixing of the air mass as it moves off and you should see leaves bouncing, juddering like that. And when you look in the canopy, you can still see the um, wet all the way through it. Often when you're driving too fast, you just blow by and it's only right on the surface, even if you're applying the same volume per acre. Um, using uh, nozzles that aren't calibrated well, so they've been on the tractor a bit too long, can cause too large of a droplet size. Droplets hit the leaf and bounce off. Most of your fungicide goes to the ground. If you have it the wrong droplet size, they never hit the leaf because the droplet dries up on the path to the leaf. It gets too small and it bounces off or it just flutters away up into the air. Um, this is particularly a problem with growers that are aiming nozzles to hit two rows at a time. So they have a bank here that's hitting this one and then they're shooting over top trying to get the other side. That other side often has really bad coverage because the droplets dry up. They become too small by the time they get over there. Or if you've adjusted the nozzles, often they put the same nozzles from top to bottom and they have too large of a droplet size on the near side. So driving too fast every other row, volumes not adjusted to the canopy, so you can have too small of a volume. Some people will say, well, I put on 100 gallons. Yeah, but your canopy needed 150 based on the leaf area that's out there. So adjusting your canopy volumes to it. And then also it's the quality of the water that you're mixing in that tank. That's real important, particularly with a lot of the newer chemistries. Because a lot of the newer chemistries aren't water soluble. They can um, be mixed into water, but if the if your water's too hard or the wrong pH, it just precipitates out the active ingredient and you're just spraying water or water in the carrier that was mixed in the fungicide. Thank you, Walt. Stay current on what's going on in our agricultural industry by reading our publications and going on to our website. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.